Kilkenny, 19 points. No cup today, Michael, but a lot of good memories. Well, no cup today and plenty of drama. Commentators on today's our Ireland hurling final, Ger Canning and Michael Dignan. Liam Sheedy, Gerard Nant, Moss McCahey here with me in studio. Nail biter comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a game. What a game. I mean, that second half had everything, you know. I and mean, then Galway built up a lovely cushion at half time. You think they'd push on, but I mean, Kilkenny just came out in the second half. They were out early, but by God, were they ready, you know. Mm. Well, I mean, Henry Shefflin, I mean, we've talked about him time and time again, and okay, but it's not just his freeze. His whole attitude and his demeanour in that second half was that we mean business. I mean, mm. the guy that's been so successful, I thought he dragged single-handedly that team yep. back into the championship. Yep. I thought it was outstanding today. But in fairness to Galway, they kept plugging. You know, they only scored 1-4 in the second half. Seven wides, you know. Mm. Uh, Kilkenny only had one. Margins were always going to be so tight, but a fabulous second half. I mean, I mean the match at Everton, brilliant saves, brilliant goals, brilliant play, huge intensity. Very, very enjoyable. I, I personally, I think we're all delighted that we're, we're going to see this again. And the funny thing is, in the first half, uh, when I was looking at it, Gerald was saying to say, it doesn't have anything kind of like the intensity of, say, the, the tip uh, Kenny finals of two years there, but well, uh, it certainly all clicked together in the second half. Henry took a free just after half time and you know, brought it back to the four points again. And from then on, it was just epic stuff, you know. And the epi epic is used too often, like in sporting contests, but. My God, everybody around us, that has in their mouths, you know. They're watching that field for every move, who was moving where. And, of course, the star stood out at the end. Brian Hogan, Tommy Welsh mm. in defence. Absolutely magnificent. T uh, uh, as you said, uh, Henry, Shefflin, uh, yeah. you know, what a leader. But ultimately, it came down, really, to the shootout between J J Joe and, and, and Henry. And, you know, when Joe missed the free, what a terrible way that would be to lose it, you know. Sure. Mm. But then they got the other free. And I think everybody's delighted, apart from maybe Carl Winkle getting into this arena. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know there was a lot of freezing and stuff like that. Maybe you could question maybe some of the decisions and stuff like that on either side, you know. I mean, I know Cody was animated below on the line with the last free and stuff like that as well. But the referee was blowing for those all day. Anytime you ran at the defender, you were being pulled down, he was given the free, right? So, I mean, it was right. I mean, Galway deserved a second shot at this. I mean, they had everything in their game in the first half. What I did fear about them in the second half came true for long periods. They went back into their shell a bit. They went back into the defensive mode. And then we saw more and more ball going down the top of Brian Hogan and Tommy Welch. And they started winning possession. Let's hear from the Galway manager, Anthony Cunningham. He's talking to Claire McNamara. Anthony, incredible stuff. How is your heart? Well, it's fine, really. I suppose it was, it was always going to be nip, nip and tuck and very close with Kilkenny. And I think they powered into us there in the second half. We had a great start to a great first half, but uh, maybe lost our way for the first 10 minutes of the second half. And then rallied again, and then they rallied. And great save by James Cahill, and drama there, then a penalty, and then uh, a few good scores for us. And um, it was very, very tough there early on, or late on, uh, rather. So uh, we're delighted to get the draw. We were down going into injury time, but. Um, I suppose traditionally whoever gets the last score has, has a bit of an advantage the next day and we hope it's also. Let's uh, start at the end and go back if you don't mind. That last free, was it a free? Oh, definitely it was a free, yeah. Definitely it was a free. You know, he, he played his early and it was, you know, you know, you know there's, a, there's, there's, there's small uh, wins and gains and uh, that definitely was a free but uh, and I'm sure everybody knows that but and it'll, everybody will fight that it isn't a free at that stage of the game naturally, you know. So uh, look at, uh, we're delighted to be, to be there again. It's huge learning for us and uh, we think we'll take more from it for the next day but it'll be it'd be down to the wire again and Joe Canning stood up and took that and got it having just missed one earlier yeah I suppose you didn't hardly look for the one before that but uh, you know clinical with the freeze and uh, you know I think from both sides there's probably a few freeze missed and the breeze probably is a bit more swirly than people maybe thought there from time time to time but uh, look we were delighted with our display and uh, it's in three weeks time I'm told so we'll knuckle down again during the week Incredible first half. Joe Canning, of course, got you up and running with that great goal in Galway. Really very confident, very much in control. Yeah, and um, we probably had a bit of the wind there in the first half as well, and, and winning, winning the 50-50 balls, really. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a pity we couldn't keep that going in the second half, but you never will. You never dominate Kilkenny for a full match, and uh, they're always going to have their, their good times as well. But it was real honest to God stuff there, and uh, great, great display of hurling from both sides, and uh, we'll have to take our, our head off to a true manly game there. I suppose the great thing for all of us looking on is that we get to see it all again. I mean, part three of the summer, you've shown that you can compete with them, you've beaten them already. How do you approach the, the replay now? Well, it's part three, as you said. It's, um, <laughs> I suppose, a, a win, a draw, and uh, we hope to make it a win again. But uh, it'll, be, it'll be nip and tuck again. There'll be nothing in it, and there never is in all Ireland, all Ireland final day. We've seen that over the last number of years. There have been fantastic finals, and today was, was heart-stopping stuff as well, and uh, we're just delighted to be part of it. 
obviously today your players haven't as much experience of the big final day as Kilkenny have but today will uh, mean a lot to them it will yeah and that's why I said uh, we're a developing side and big big bonus like to play in a final and uh, we have to be very impressed with the guys approached it and uh, the way they they started and played in the first half and uh, something we'll, we'll work on again for the next day you're up against Brian Cody again the next day. You had a few words there over that disputed last free. It's just natural that you'll always dispute a free at that stage of the game. But sure, Brian, Brian Cody's a legend, and and you know they're 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 true gentlemen, really off the pitch, and but they fight for their lives when they're there, and you know so do we all. And uh, it'll be nip and tuck again the next day. And as you mentioned, Antti, do you think the momentum is maybe with you now because you did get that last score? Well, that's nearly always the way, but I mean, you never have Kilkenny beaten until the final whistle goes, but uh, you know, we'll be trying our damnedest again the next day and I'm sure uh, we'll turn up in the same frame of mind and one, one better we'll, we'll go the next day with the help of God. Well, we look forward to it. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks very much. Oh, we will indeed, and more of the same wouldn't do us any harm, would it? <laughs> no, it would not, no. Or maybe it would. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was edge of the seat stuff. I mean, even when the penalty was given, you're saying, God, will he go for a goal? Will he go for a pint? I mean, it was end to end. Johnny Cohen's catch out of the sky, corner back, you know, five foot something, grabbing the ball out of the sky. I thought Earl Tanyan at midfield. Brilliant. You know, I mean, I would have questioned at the start of the year, will this guy have an engine to get around 70 minutes mm-hmm. of crowbar? And he got a right smack in the ankle early on, and he still ploughed on, and he was winning freeze. I thought overall, like the matchups, that, you know, it was just right. right Right from the start to finish, the end-to-end stuff, the you know, really manly stuff, I think. And you know, both teams and, will be looking and, forward and to three weeks' time. Like the new, that's the way they positioned Tanyan today. Mm. Mm. He positioned himself just, as they call it in soccer, in the pocket, yeah. in yeah, front yeah. of the half-back back line. Mm. And they just the broke ball, yeah. the ball down to him, and he delivered it straight away. Real mm. great ball into the, into the forwards. Now, sometimes it's a bit too high, misdirected. Mm. But he had a fantastic game today. And, you know, Galway got it right tactically, all over the field. He got it really, really right. I suppose in the second half, is, you know, Tomás is right there. One four in the second half is not enough, really, you know. And the goal, you could say, <laughs> I know Kilkenny people might be saying, did he pick it off the ground? But it was a break. But yes. really, really, Kilkenny's dominance was based on the old uh, formula that they've had for the last ten years. Well, I think Tommy Walsh, brilliant. Mm. And above all, Hogan was, Brian Hogan mm. was just... He commanded the air in the second half, but at the I, same I, time, I, I you know. I go back to Liam or to Liam's point about Shefflin. I mean, when he went to centre forward as the yeah. number eleven, he changed the game for Kilkenny in that second half period. They were struggling. They were one. They weren't catching ball. They weren't getting onto the breaking ball. But when he went in there, he told them all, "Get out of my way. Go out to the wings. Let me hold a central position." And he started one after the other, started winning ball out of the air, got the hurley up, got the touches, and the freeze. I mean, some of the freeze were just breathtaking and, and stuff. You know? I mean, it was he laid on the ball for Finley. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And there was for, a for chance for that he could have yeah. went to himself. She, but Scale's save was just absolutely yeah, fantastic. Well, you know? we'll go through a few of those things. Galway weren't getting scores very freely in that second half. Niall Burke's goal was the bonus that sort of kept him in the game because you felt at that stage he was slipping away. Ger said, question is, I wonder, did he pick it off the ground? It was hard to know, but let's have a yeah. look. Yeah, but I think where Kenny, where Kilkenny will be a bit cross to themselves is that, you know, Kieran Jace had gone back into cornerback and, you know, in fairness to Sir Donald wins a great ball, but really, two Kilkenny players go for the one ball. You know, I mean, uh, um, Kieran Jace had full view of what was behind him there. Kieran Jace should have led up uh, Brian Hogan for the ball and waited for the break, but he didn't. He went in with his man, two of them collided, ball breaking through. I didn't think he picked no, it up. I think there was, there was no grass in that pick. I think he will watch it now closely again. No, no that's a, that's no, a no. perfect pick Correct. to me. Yeah. And he sticks it in the back of the net. And uh, you know that was a vital score because at that stage Galway were Galway well, were struggling. It was, a, you know, it was a, maybe a surprise score. that he was taken off after scoring one two. I know Brian Hogan had come yeah. into the game, but even yeah. just move, moving him to the wing or maybe into a corner mm-hmm. position because like he, I mean, scoring one two in Ireland final, I thought yeah. he was very effective. Well, at that, at that stage, yeah. Yeah. when you see himself, when you see yeah. himself taken off, yes. and Damien Hayes taken off as well towards the end. You know all the predictions we had beforehand. You kind of went went out the window, but you know Hogan is still so vital for, for Kilkenny when he's out of the game that's struggling but when he's commanding the game he holds that centre so well Kilkenny get this penalty in the second half now in the first half Shefflin had a free and he attempted a goal from it when he got the penalty he took a different view obviously he was playing the percentages yeah well Eddie Brennan was behind me he said if he goes for a pint it'll be a draw if he goes for a goal if he goes they'll win it yes. yeah. you know and that's the way that's, that's, that's what you're saying now again look at uh, Owen Larkin here the, the flick across oh uh, well it was I mean, a penalty no question about yeah. it down on top of him one of the few things Owen Larkin did in the, in the, was, he was out of the game for most of the time he got a great point mm. now here we say mm. now I mean, in he, fairness he, now the referee is totally consistent there because he gave a free against Tommy Welch yeah, for doing the very half. same thing in the first half now I wonder why did he go for the point you know mm. like if, you, if, if you take against Tipperary in, uh, in, in 2009 when he got a penalty roughly around the same time 
he had, no, maybe he had to bury it. You know, maybe mm. he had to bury it. Yeah. But if he scored that, it would have been the winning of the game. Sure. You know. Yeah. But, but I, think I, I, think I, 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 think yeah. I think the winning of the game though was was the chance that Colin Finley got for Kilkenny. You know, I think Shefflin was right to go for a point at that stage. I mean, time was almost up. I think there was two and a half minutes left or something. Like that was it in the uh, game. Yeah. yeah. Sixty-eight minutes. Yeah. 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 Two, yeah. two minutes. Yeah. Two and a half yeah. minutes. Well, to put a point up. You know. I mean, you were taking a serious risk against Tipperary. Yeah. He had to go for that shot, but I thought he took the right option. But as well as that, as you have to say, Barry Kelly was very consistent. Today. I know uh, people are complaining there's a so totally s- different set of rules to what it was the last day between Kilkenny and Tip, mm. but at least he blew both teams. Yeah. Yeah.